Hello. <clears throat> Hello. I can't see comments yet, so hopefully it's connected or connecting. Okay, yep, hello, hello, hello. It's coming through now. Okay, there we go. Comments are coming. <sighs> so sorry. Uh, Lauren, are you here? Hello, hello, let me just go back up. Hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> with the count, me, with me clicking on all the different cameras today, I just oh, had it in my bones that that was going to happen, wasn't it? so so sorry so basically what we're going to do is that video has been deleted from Facebook now um, it will be posted part one will be posted on YouTube tomorrow so you can still watch your openings back it just means I'm going to trim the end off so you can't see the end of that video um, so it will be trimmed off you won't be able to see it but it will be posted so the rest of the video you'll be able to see and then this one will be posted um, obviously as normal fingers crossed so um lauren are you here i need to just apologize to you <laughs> oh bless you sarah it can still be tonight that's not a problem and uh, yeah sorry to everybody it's just camera if I don't click it that's why you can see you see me constantly looking like this just double checking to see where the cameras are um, so it was completely my fault I just didn't click it <sighs> right so Lauren if you're here again I apologize um, it's been deleted off Facebook and it will be trimmed off the video and then the, that video will be posted on YouTube Now, we're going to carry on, and again, Lauren, I'm ever so sorry, um, and I've just made a note, I'm going to email to say sorry as well, just in case you're not here. Oh, dear me. So yeah, everyone who had an opening in the first half, or if you're watching this back and would like to see the first half, it will be posted on YouTube, and it will be on the 28th of February, it will be posted, um, and it's always labelled part one and part two on there, so both of them will be posted on there. Part two will hopefully still be on Facebook, but the number part number one will be trimmed at the end. Oh, right. Oh, okay. So, and it took me a while to come back on as well. Facebook didn't like me ending to say, no, I'm coming back. <laughs> um, up next then today is Kathy Rax. Kathy, are you here? Kathy, hello my lovely. So you've got one opening all together. You'd like a mystery oyster and to donate your shells. Oh Lauren, you are here. Lauren, I do apologise honestly, but the, the video has been deleted. Um, like I said, it will be posted on YouTube tomorrow, but it will be trimmed off. So that end bit, that last little bit won't be on there. Um, I'm glad you're happy with the pearl. Uh, thank you for the donations of your shells as well, Lauren. And again, I apologise um, that that happened. But if you want to see the opening again, it will be posted, but not that section. I am sorry. Oh, right. So we're going to carry on. Chantelle, bless you. Thank you for the stars there. Uh, Kathy, mystery oyster donates your shells. Is there a certain colour that you're hoping for? Let's go down. We have a lighter pop there. And in here, there's a little bit of flesh there. And let's have a squidge in here. 
Kathy, you are twinning and you're twinning with Blurple Twins here. Chantelle, bless you. Thank you for the stars again. That's very, very kind of you. Kathy, twinning with Blurple Twins. Now, I think that they are just slightly, slightly two tonal. So I will show you. They're quite nice, darker Blurple Twins here. So again, Blurple is a mix between a blue and a purple. So this one, if you can see, he's just slightly lighter and darker in different areas. And then this one as well has a slightly larger, lighter area. And then with the darker area. So this one has got more of the lighter area compared to his twin. Now, Kathy, if you're happy with these, that's perfect. So I'll need to know which one you'd like on your jewellery. And you can choose whether, obviously, if you're happy with the colour, if you'd have the more two-tonal one or the more, uh, the least two-tonal one. I never know how to say that. Or, of course, if you're not happy, we can swap them for you. So the more, the one with which doesn't have as much two-tonal colouring is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, he's an 8. And then the more two-tonal purple is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, he is an 8 as well. What do you think? Extension chain, I'll write that down now. Um, add extension. Perfect. Uh, jewelry and the pearls on the hollowed heart thread through which you can invoice you for. Oh, okay. Bear with me a moment then. Uh, before I agree to that, I just need to double check the stock on the website. Now, if you guys can see it, it does mean that it is in stock, but I do just need to. Um, so the hollowed, hollow thread. Thread through hollow heart earrings, those ones there. Let me have a little look. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Let me adjust this and then, so if I bring you back up and then I'll write this down. So we're gonna have add extension, no pearl on there, invoice for pearls on um, the Red through hollow heart earrings. Okay, so I've got that down for you, my lovely. Now the invoice for that will get sent across tomorrow for you. There we go. And that will go to the email address that's on the order form. We don't charge for the extension chain if it's going on to a bracelet, okay? Uh, so, Kathy, thank you for the donations with your shells, and I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives there. No, Kathy, you're very, very welcome. Uh, up next then today is Michelle Madison. Michelle, are you here? Charlotte, bless you. Thank you for the stars there. Michelle, you're here as well. Hello, hello, hello. You've got one opening all together. Can you have a mystery oyster and donate the shells? Perfect. So is there a certain colour that you're hoping for? Let's get him open. And let's go down. So your mystery oyster... Oh, so you have a lighter pop there. 
And in here, there is your Mother of Pearl. And I can see here we have a darker purple. You was hoping for possibly a shade of green. There's no more in that one. So we have a darker purple here. Let me dry this up for you. Now, if you would like to swap this for a green, we can do that indeed. Now this one, I'm gonna just hold him up. So this one is, I'm gonna move him around for you as well, because he's base purple. And then as you go around, he's got slight brighter areas of purple and then darker areas as well, if you can see that there. Now, if you would like to swap this one, like I said, we can do so. Can you see a few types of greens? Of course you can. This purple is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, not an 8. He's an 8.5. Um, so greens, let's have a little look. So we're going to go for a uh, C green. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. This is a seaweed green, I don't think. Let's see if there's a more. No, the seaweed and the sea greens, they are different, but I just think on the camera, how about this one? I'm just trying to get one which has got quite a bit of difference. We'll, we'll go for that one. And then, Thank you, bud. A brighter apple green. Uh, a pastel apple green. Oh, that's a huge pearl. And let's have a look to see if we've got any of these darker ones. And then a darker olive green. Okay, so there's going to be... I'm actually going to put that at this end just so then it goes down in colour um, darkness, if you like. So, let's have a little look. You've got dark olive green, sea green, seaweed green, bright apple green, and then a light pastel apple green. So if you're happy with any of these, I'll number them for you. So number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. So dark olive green number one, sea green number two, uh, seaweed green number three, apple green is number four, and number five is a pastel apple green. Number two, sea green, perfect. Number two is yours. And I'll pop that one on the jewellery for you. If I bring you back up here. Oh, I just need to ask Aaron to grab me some kitchen towel. Okay, Michelle, I hope you're happy with that, my lovely. Let me pop him in here for you. Can you change the necklace to a 22? I can pop that down here as well. Okie dokie, I've got that down for you. Michelle, thank you for the donations with your shells, my lovely. And that's safe up there for you. I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives. Okay, and up next today is Cindy Brown. Cindy, are you here? Um, it's under there, I think. Thank you, darling. Did you find it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Laura, hello. And Cindy, you're here. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Cindy, we'll do your oyster opening first and then we'll do your colour splash afterwards if that's okay. So with your oyster opening, is there a, what type of oyster would you like and would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? Laura, bless you. Thank you for the stars there. Puppy, yeah, he's doing really well. Really well. Um, he doesn't like treats. <laughs> I've started to try to train him and now he doesn't like treats. Um, oh no, I found he likes cheese, but I don't, I never trained Kovi with cheese, so I don't know how much cheese he's allowed. So before I train him properly with cheese, I need to do some research because I don't want to give him a bad tummy because poodles can get quite a bad tummy. You've got to be careful with what you feed them. Um, so, but other treats and other food he doesn't like. So it's hard to train. To, training isn't going as, as smoothly as I would like so far. <laughs> but other than that, he's doing really well. That's on me. That's not him. Uh, Danielle, bless you. Thank you for the stars there. Lauren, I'm not putting up with subtitles at all. I'm glad they're helpful and I'm glad they're there. And for those people who don't want subtitles, they can be turned off just by the three dots at the top. Um, so yeah, I don't put up with them at all. I am I hope they work. I know it doesn't always get every word exactly as I say it, but they're, they're pretty good for an automatic thing. Cindy, Nunu Rainbow, donate the shells. What puppy doesn't like treats? I think it's the, um, like, he he, do, he hasn't had many different textures. So I think it's like one of the, the puppy training treats. It's slightly more chewy. He doesn't like that. Another one is crunchier than his food. He doesn't like that. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, I think he likes the cheese because it's soft. I don't know. But um, maybe it's just age as he gets older. I don't know. Right, Cindy, let's go down. New, new rainbow oyster. Cooked chicken breast cut into little bits. Oh, I could do. That's a good idea. Thank you, Emma. Right, new new rainbow oyster. Is there a certain colour you're hoping for, Cindy? There's one side and the other side. Oh, look at him. You've got a black cherry, my lovely. There's no more in that one. I haven't, Tonya, no. I do need to look into more different treats. It's just I've got three different types so far and he doesn't like them. <laughs> I'm hoping he'll grow to like them. If not, Kovu will have them. Now, you've got a black cherry here, Cindy. What do you think to this one? So quite a nice dark, deep colour with that flash of red to him. Let me measure him for you. He's not a 5, not a 5.5, .5, not a 6, not a 6.5. He's a 7. Try sausages. See, I'm hesitant to try sausages because Kovu, he's, he's also a toy poodle, he can't have sausages because it gives him a runny bum in the nicest way. <laughs> possible yeah it doesn't react well with him so i don't know if it's the breed or just him but yeah i, I want to stay like he can have chicken and that's sort of as much cooked meat from us kind of thing cucumber Ooh. What do you think though, Cindy? What do you think to be black cherry? Carrots? Can you swap for a bright coral? Of course you can. Let me have a look for you. Yes, the, we are live this Wednesday for the March 
monthly deal so if you guys would like to have the monthly deal live this wednesday the opening the march one is so cool i've been waiting uh, for the march one to come around <laughs> i love the march one i want to show it off but i can't just yet but we will do soon is that coral okay there for you cindy Laura, Jessica, thank you both for the stars there. Uh, stars party challenge has started, Laura. Yes, I don't normally, um, <laughs> I don't normally say about the stars party, but it does. Oh, it just said that it wasn't achieved there, but that's I don't normally say about them. But thank you ever so much for the stars. It's so very kind of you. Is that coral okay there for you? Yes, perfect. Okay, so Cindy, you also have a colour splash spin. Um, is there a certain colour that you're hoping for? Oh no, I think my pearls ran out of battery. Oh, it's still on, but it's so very, very slight. I'm gonna turn it off, because, and then I'll look into getting some different batteries for him. So, is there a certain color that you're hoping for here? Jessica, thank you for the stars. So we're gonna spin the wheel for you, Cindy. So good luck, my lovely. And you have a purple. A purple is a crystal charm. So if we dive in here for you, and let's come back round here. Jessica, thank you again for the stars there. You're being extremely kind, thank you. So in here for you, Cindy. Oh, love this one. So, this one is a traditional heart charm. So these charms are on the website. Again, it's got an unusual pearl on him, this one. So this is the Peridot Green Crystal Heart. And the pearl here, again, it is a larger pearl, but he's, let me just reposition how I'm holding it because it's a two-tonal apple green. So it's lighter and brighter green, but also we've got these dark green spots on him, if you can see that there. That one's quite a prominent spot, that dark one. It's quite, if you can see. And that spot, oh, I just, I just love it. Right, let me hold this so it drops down next to the heart, just because it does look like it's a larger uh, pearl, which it is, but it doesn't overpower the charm, if, that, if you see what I mean. So two-tonal apple green with the green crystal heart charm. Now I hope you're happy with the charm itself there, Cindy. What do you think to the pearl? Would you like to stick with the pearl or would you like to have a oyster opening where you can then change the pearl? So I'm just trying to move it around again because with the crystal you can see the lighter and the darker green. Stick with that one, you love it. Perfect. I'm glad you're happy with him. If I bring you back up here, and I'll pop this in here, and I'm just gonna pop down as well that you'd like to stick with this one. Perfect, Cindy. Thank you for the donations with your shells before then. And I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives. And that's safe up there for you. Like a sunny day. Oh, I like that. Uh, up next then today is Rebecca Wood. Rebecca, are you here?
I'm looking for a Rebecca Woods. Rebecca, hello, hello, hello. Did I, oh, you've got additional comments. I didn't. If you just bear with me just a moment. Uh, normally, if it's if an order is placed before the live, I print out the comments and pop them on the order form. If, like, for example, you've ordered during the live, I don't always get to see them, but I normally add the comments on afterwards. So, for example, tomorrow morning when we start work, I'll go through and add all the additional comments on just so obviously I don't miss anything if there is any instructions. Um... It is, you have picked the braided one, if that's correct. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. All that information there is absolutely fine. That can definitely get done for you. But you have picked the braided one. Is it the braided one that you wanted or was it just the single cord that you wanted? Because they're, they're the same price. I can, I can change them if, it's, if that's what you'd prefer. So you'd like a normal, oh, I've lost it already. Yes, normal oyster. Would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells there? I need to top this bag up. So, normal oyster. Let's get him open. And let's go down. It's just normal... It was just a normal black on it. Didn't give you option to. Oh, bless you. Okay, so just to confirm, you'd like the single braided cord, so not the braid. No, sorry. You don't. We've got the braided one, which is black and braided, or we've just got like a literally a thin black strip. So is it just the thin black strip you prefer, and not the braided one? Right, your normal oyster. There's one side. Yep, perfect. I'll change that on here, Becca. That's not a problem. And the other side. And inside your oyster, you've got a rose gold pearl there. There's no more in that one. What do you think to a rose gold? Now, if you're happy with this one, that's perfect. Again, if you're not happy, we can swap him for you. There he is in the sand there. And if I run him through the board, he is not a 5, not a 5.5, .5, not a 6. He is a 6.5. Uh. I can have a look to see if I've got a natural lavender. I may not have any, but I could definitely have whites in. Oh. Okay, so bridal white. And, oh no! <laughs> oh, bear with me just a second. At least they landed on the tray and not on the desk. Right. I'm just going to lift this up though. Okay. I've got them all. Okay. It's fine. I saved them. <laughs> Deary me. Right, let's have a look. Natural lavender wood. I mean, this is the pinks because I don't have a natural lavender pot because I never have enough to have a pot. No, I don't have any lavenders at the moment. So I can show you a white. And if you prefer a natural lavender, there will be a weight for that. It's not my night tonight. No, I've had such a lovely day. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. At least I didn't go on the floor. Exactly. Let's just find the positives. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, 
white on the jewellery. That's perfect. So let me just bring you back up and I'm going to write this down. So we're going to have white on there, but we're going to have this as a single cord black. And then you've got the size down in the notes that I'll be printing off tomorrow. So that's perfect. Thank you ever so much. Uh, for your shells and I hope you're happy with everything here as well so that's safe up there for you no Emma don't be silly don't be silly you're not being negative at all <laughs> it's not my night everything's going all squiffy but it's okay it's not a problem things happen don't they Uh, right, so I'm just going to see if I can have a sip of this tea. Mm. Tea makes everything better. So look, cup of positive tea, see? <laughs> Perfect timing for the small handled mug. <laughs> oh. Okay, so up next today is... Jody Kelly, Jody, are you here? You want a cup of tea? Where are you, Sophie? Are you near the kettle? <laughs> or is somebody near the kettle? I ask that because obviously if you're upstairs, it's a long way to the kettle. <laughs> oh, I feel like that when I'm upstairs. How many? Th oh. One. A little bit. Not much of two. Just one. <laughs> so, Sophie. Hmm. You're in bed. Oh, bless you. Is Neil downstairs? Can he grab you a cup? No, he's in bed too. Oh, no. I'm looking for Jodie Kelly. Jodie, you are here. Hello, hello, hello. Jodie, my lovely, you have two colour splash spins. So we're going to go across to the board, uh, to the wheel even. Is there certain colours that you're hoping for or a certain themed pearl? What we're going to do is we're going to do spin number one and then um, show you obviously whatever is in that envelope. And if you choose to swap the pearl and have an oyster opening we'll do spin number two and then we'll do all the openings at the end jody if that's okay but for now we'll do a spin and we'll go from there so is there a certain color or theme that you're hoping for good luck my lovely that was quite a nice spin that one And we have a yellow. So yellow is a animal charm. So in here you've got a pastel yellow. Oh, let's bring this camera down here and get him open. So good luck for your first charm, Jodie. And in here, nothing else in that one. You have got now this one used to be on the website and it's not on the website anymore so you can't get this one anymore this is the rainbow fish i believe so this is the rainbow fish so if i describe the pearl no the charm first you can see it's the fish it's got lots of detail on here you've got the fins the detail on the actual fish as well. And the pearl on this one is a beautiful bright watermelon pearl. So this one to me just reminds me of bright. Bright sea life. Sorry, I'm just trying to get. The it's so hard when it hasn't got the fitted on <laughs> to grab it with this. Okay, so the rainbow fish with the coral pearl. 
what do you think to this one love the charm perfect can you have an opening of course you can like i said we're going to do your second spin and then we'll do the opening at the end just in case you'd like an opening for the next one as well if that's okay so keep love the charm we're going to swap the pearl we'll do that in a moment perfect uh so jody moving on for your second spin then good luck again my lovely and your second spin you have a blue so the blue is the random bucket so the completely random themed charm gone for the darker blue envelope here and let's get this one open And in here, there's nothing else in that one. You have the Masquerade Mask Charm. So, this one, this one has, is one of our, probably one of our first charms that we had. Now again, this one has got so much detail, if I can only show you. So it's a mask, it's a Masquerade Mask. And the detailing, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch it on the camera, just because. Oh, I can't catch the detail. So it's got a lot of detail on him, but I can't get it to focus on it. it. Pearl wise, it is a lighter pastel green pearl. So if I get it to drop down next to the charm, lighter pastel green on here. What do you think to this one? Love the charm, perfect. Now pearl wise, would you like to stick or would you like to go for a oyster opening? So the reverse side, this side doesn't have any detail but this side does. opening for both perfect so two oyster openings all together what two oysters would you like and would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells mystery perfect would you like to keep or would you like to donate your sh oh donate the shells as well and is there certain colors that you're hoping for so let me get these open for you and there's number one and number two and let's go down so oyster number one we have a lighter, softer pop there. And in here, there is your mother of pearl. Hoping for lilacs or silvers. Now we do have a purple shade here, but it's a completely opposite end of the spectrum to, to the lilac purple. You've got a gorgeous darker purple here. So I'm just gonna have a squidge there's no more in that one. So if I dry him up for you. So there he is in the sand. So your first pearl is a darker purple. Moving on to oyster number two which again is your mystery oyster. So we have a lighter pop there. And there is your mother of pearl. And in here, 
You have another darker pearl here, Jodie. And there's no more in that one. So you've got two darker purple pearls here. Now, I'll hold them up and I'll show you them both. If you're happy with these, that's perfect. Oh, there we go. If you're not happy, we can swap them for you. Now, purple number two, the one on this side, he does have a slightly more chocolatey tone to him as well. So he's a chocolatey purple. And the first one is a purple purple. What do you think to these, Jodie, my lovely? And of course, I'll need to know uh, which one on which charm. So if I just write down, we're going to have the rainbow fish. And we've got the masquerade mask. Okay, so if I measure your pearls for you, the chocolatey purple is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. And then purple number 2 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, he's an 8. So they're different sizes to each other there. He, he, he. Have I missed something there, Sophie? Would it be possible to swap for a lilac on the masquerade and denim blue on the fish, please? Or even a steel blue? So steel blue we have a waiting list for and the lilac purples we have a waiting list for, my lovely. Um, I've got these purpley denim blues. I can, I'm looking for ones which are least purpley, if that's a, if that's a, correct way of saying it um but yeah the lilac purples there's a weight i'm afraid so if you're happy to have a weight then i can definitely do that for you pop you on the waiting list if you prefer not to wait and to pick a different color we can do that for you as well that's one of the purpley denim blues closest to lilac I have is actually violet purple which is not close really <laughs> I'm going to show you but the lilac purple is the lighter subtle lighter purple isn't it the violet purple is quite a bright purple but it's the lightest shade next to the lilac so I'll show you this one and you can let me know what you think to that one the denim blue is perfect. So you would like the denim blue on the fish. Perfect. What do you think to the mask? Love them both. Perfect. Okay, so let me just bring you back up here. Uh, and we're going to have the purple on the mask. Okie dokie, I'm glad you're happy with that then my lovely. Let's just pop these in here as well. Jodie, thank you ever so much for the donations with your shells. Uh, and I hope you're happy with everything once it arrives there. And that's safe up there for you. If you can hear... <laughs> Aaron's let the dogs into the garden um, and Jodie you're very very welcome if you can hear a small little yip it's because I can hear my puppy at the door I think he can hear me he wants to come in now he's not allowed to come in because obviously I can't um, have him running around my feet but yeah if you can hear him that's why he's in the, he's not locked in the garden and the door's open to the house yes the door's open to the house it's just <laughs> I think he wants to come in here. So that's what you can hear if you can hear him. Right, up next then today is Sue Luden. Sue, are you here?
Sue, hello, 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 hello. Sue, you also have a colour splash. Let's go across to the wheel for you. Let's move these over here. So is there a certain um, colour that you're hoping for with this one, with this spin? Good luck, my lovely. Good night, Linda, my lovely. See you on Tuesday. Oh, you have a yellow. It's in the yellow one, Sue. So you have a animal charm. Oh, so you have a lighter yellow envelope here. If I bring you back. And if we get him open for you. So in here, in here, you have the seahorse charm. Now we've got two seahorse charms on the website. We've got one which is a yellow bellied seahorse. And then this is the sea, this is called just the seahorse. So this is the slightly larger of the two actually. Look at him. So again, this is a one-sided charm. So this does not have the detail on the back. It does have a little bit of a stamp on the 925 silver stamp on the back there. But then you've got all the detail of the seahorse on him. Pearl-wise, you've got a lighter pastel coral pearl there. I've just asked Aaron to come get him, bless him. It's not good for him to be out in the cold if he's not running around. Now with the pearl, like I said, it's a lighter pastel -y coral pearl. What do you think to this one, my lovely? I hope you're happy with the charm, Sue. Pearl-wise, coral for the seahorse. Let me let me pop it down so you can see it next to the charm. Why am I finding it so hard to grip these where they are? There we go. I've got two toy poodles, yes. But one's um, 12 weeks old and one's four years old. So there. Can you have an oyster opening? Of course you can. There we go. So with your oyster opening then, what type of oyster would you like? Would you like to, um, let me bring you back up so we can see. What type of oyster would you like? And would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? <gasps> so we're going to change the pearl. Yeah, I can see they're both inside now, so that's fine. I can stop looking. <laughs> Mystery and donate. Um, is there a certain colour that you're hoping for for your seahorse? So let's get him open. And I like to think that with my seahorse that this one's female and that the yellow-bellied seahorse is male. And that's because obviously the males carry the babies with the seahorses, don't they? So on the yellow bellied one, the belly of the seahorse is yellow. So I like to think that he's carrying the babies. So he's the male and this one's female. <laughs> That's the story of my charms. <laughs> oh, hoping for a mermaidy colour. Love that. So good luck then. Your mystery oyster. You have a lighter pop there. And there's your mother of palm. So if we have a squidge in here. Oh, and we've got a few darker pearls coming out today. And there's no more in that one. 
so a uh, darker purple here sue now you did say you're hoping for a mermaidy color so if you would prefer we can swap this for you but let me hold the purple up for you first so you can have a closer look so darker purple what do you think I run him through the board for you he's not a five not a 5.5 not a six not a 6.5 not a seven not a 7.5 not an eight he's an brighter icy blue of course you can so if I grab a blue here what do you think to this one there going to bring you back up again was that blue okay there for you so we're going to be swapping the coral to the blue yes your niece will love it oh i hope she does um, Sue, thank you for the donations with your shells and that's safe up there for you. Now I did see a few people asking about the shells so I'll just show you quickly. My mum works in a nursery so the shells get cleaned off, they get sanitised and they go to the nursery. This is just two different examples of what they use them for. The children have them and they yeah, just get set out in different activities for them to learn about the world, different textures and play. Right, up next then today is Michelle Scoen. Michelle, are you here? Let's see, hello. Sue, you're very, very welcome. Michelle Scoen. Michelle, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so Michelle, you have a colour splash as well. Is there a certain colour or themed bucket that you are hoping for? Good luck, my lovely. And you have a red charm. So a red color which is a love themed charm here oh i just seen you was hoping for the blue we have the red let's bring you across and let's get this open so we can see what's inside so in here now we did see this one at the start of the live actually. Uh, now this is the Rose, the Rose, I need to double check the name of him. It's the Rosette charm. So the heart with the crystals and let me show you, there we go. So it's the heart which has got little hearts and then zircon crystals going round to make up the Rosette. Now the pearl here is just slightly off-white cream. So you can see all those crystals sparkling there. So I'm just going to let this pearl drop. Now he's, like I said, just off-white cream-coloured pearl. And as he sits... <laughs> there we go. As he sits, he will just sit just slightly towards the top of the charm there. Now, what do you think to this one, Michelle? 
are you happy with this one? I hope you're happy with the charm. Pearl wise, are you happy with the pearl or would you prefer to have a oyster opening? Can you have the oyster opening? Of course you can. Uh, so what type of oyster would you like? And would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? So let me just write down, we're going to be changing the pearl four, and then we'll wait and see. What type of oyster would you like? Donate and the rainbow. So is that the mystery rainbow, which is a mix of all the colors? The lighter rainbow, which is the expand the rainbow bag, or the darker rainbow colours, which is the new new rainbow bag. So mystery is a mix of all the colours, light rainbow or dark rainbow colours. Expand the rainbow, perfect. And donate in the shells. Uh, is there a certain colour that you're hoping for, Michelle? So let's get him open. And let's go down. So your expand the rainbow oyster. There's one side and the other side. I'm just going to do that first side again. There we go. You have a apple green. Now he is a slightly two tonal apple green there. There's no more in that one. Two tonal apple green. What do you think to this one? Now again, Michelle, if you're happy with this one, that's perfect. If you're not happy, we can swap him for you. So I'm just going to run him round, oh, I just got a piece of sand there, there we go. I'm just going to run him round so you can see. He's lighter and then brighter as you go around the pearl there. Swap for a rose gold, of course you can. Are you happy with this one here? Hi, yeah, so if you'd like to join in, so it's on our website, you can find the link in the description above. It's www.pearlswithbrecon.com. If you go into the fun section of the website and it's called the Colour Splash, or if you search um, in the search bar, Colour Splash, it will come up. Is that rose gold okay there for you, Michelle? And I'm just going to write down, we're going to change for the rose gold gold yes perfect well i hope you're happy with everything once it arrives 
and thank you for the donations with your shells as well. Uh, up next is Lisa Brown. Lisa, are you here? I'm fine, thank you, Claire. I hope you're well as well. Uh, I've had two different mugs today. So I had my rabbit textured mug and at the moment I've got the cup of positivity. <laughs> this is the current Red Nose Day mug. Um, so up here it says Red Nose Day, funny is power. Lisa, hello, hello, hello. So you have a colour splash is there a certain colour or theme that you're hoping for? Good luck, my lovely. And you have a blue. So blue is a random themed charm. So let's dive in. Light blue envelope here. So in here, Lisa. Oh, I love this one. There's nothing else in there. Now this one is on the website and this one is a really, um, yeah, really girly charm. If that's, if you have a look here, look at this, and I hopefully you'll be able to see, because obviously it's all in the description. So it's oh, it's going to be picking up every reflection. Ah, oh, there we go. So it is a face with the eyes closed and the long lashes, and then the lips as well. So it's I think on the website it's called possibly the kisses charm. I think. So it's quite simple, but. It is, sorry about all the reflections. I'm trying to hold it where it doesn't reflect. It is gorgeous. Pearl wise, you've got the bright, hot pink, bold charm, uh, bold pearl color on here. So the pearl sits right in front of the face there and then it can just move around side to side. It's a perfect for a makeup artist. Yes, Jodie, I love that idea. Lisa, what do you think, my lovely? I hope you're happy with the charm. What do you think to the pearl? Would you like to stick with the pink or would you prefer to have an oyster opening and change it? I do too, Cathy, um, but again, it's everybody's personal preference. It's so hard, because I've got two different cameras up here. So if I hold it here, you can see it, but a slant. If I hold it towards the camera, it reflects the camera. <laughs> can you see how it's reflecting the pearl there as well, which gives it that depth? Love it. Love the charm. Can you have an opening? Of course you can. So hoping for a red. So with the red, I would possibly say go for a mystery or a new, new rainbow bag. What type of oyster would you like to go for? Uh, and would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mystery, donate the shells. I'm hoping for a red. Oh, bless her, Jodie. <laughs> okay, so let's go down. Your mystery oyster, Lisa lighter pop there
and you've got a candy floss pink runaway there there's your mother of pearl candy floss pink runaway and let me just have a squidge in here for you see if there's any more okay so we've got no more in that one what do you think to a candy floss pink now i know you said you were hoping for a red so if you would like to we can swap this for a red for you or if you're happy with this one that's perfect if i've run your candy floss pink through the board for you lisa he is not a five not a 5.5 not a six he is a 6.5 what do you think to this one swap for a dark red you can indeed let me just have a little look uh dark red do i have dark reds in this one how about this one here would you be happy with that red there or would you like to go darker more like a black cherry kind of color Just going to bring you back up however if you prefer to swap that we can still do so so we're going to change and we're going to have the red that's perfect perfect lisa so that's on there for you thank you for the donations with your shells oh and again i hope you're happy with everything once it arrives as well that's safe up there for you uh, and up next then is jasmine wilkinson jasmine are you here lisa you're very very welcome linda yes so that is an automatic message uh, and it's gen it's basically there for um if you order while we're not live if you order while we're live you do automatically get added on to the live um so you don't get the oyster opening email but that we do have that automatic response there just so um if you've ordered whilst not being live you know that you're going to be getting that opening email but no because we're live you'll be added on today that's not a problem uh, Jasmine hello 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 we're just over an hour <laughs> just over an hour there so rough estimates uh, Jasmine should we do your oyster opening first and then you've got a color splash as well so we'll do that afterwards so with your oyster opening what type of oyster would you like and would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells no Linda that's absolutely fine sorry for the confusion i might add that on to it then actually if we're like yeah i'll add that let me make a note that i can change that email going out and to say if we're sort of live um you'll be added on that way it will stop confusion in the future um Cool. Got that down. Mystery. Hoping for lighter pinks or purples. Keep the shells as it's for your daughter. Of course you can. So, hoping for lighter pinks or purples.
let's get this open for you and let's go down so your mystery oyster oh, beautiful deep pop there and in here you have a runaway blush pink and jasmine i can see that you're twinning and you're twinning with two blush pinks there so you was hoping for lighter pinks or purples and you've got twinning lighter blush pinks now i'm just going to clean this shell up and then we'll hold up the uh, pearls so you can have a closer look Okay, what do you think to these? Now, if you're happy with these, that's perfect. If you're not happy, we can swap them for you. Visually, it does look like this one here is slightly larger than his twin, but we will measure them as well in just a moment just to confirm that for you. You love them. Oh, perfect. So just confirm, are you happy to keep them? If I run them through the board, the visually larger of the two is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. And the visually smaller of the two is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. So they're measuring the same size there, but they are visually looking different, if you can see that. Possibly just um, off a touch different shade or anything like that can uh, change our perspective of the, of the sizes. Um, but obviously as we measure them coming out the same they're all on um, YouTube every day Joe. so the monthly video for February will be coming out at the end of February but no that they the single ones are posted on YouTube every day Jasmine just confirm are you happy to keep those Uh, we can. The lightest purple I have at the moment is violet purple. Now, if you wanted a lilac purple, there is a waiting list for that. So I'll show you violet purple. So that's the next sort of stage we have of the lightest purples, if that makes sense. So if you're happy with this one, that's perfect. If not, there would be a wait. So I'm just going to take away the visually smaller so you can see them together there. Happy? Perfect. So if I bring you back up here. Uh, and then we have, I'll take you straight across to the wheel because we have a colour splash as well, I believe. So with your colour splash, is there a certain colour that you're hoping for? Good luck, my lovely. And you have, you have a blue themed charm. So, oh, I've just seen you was hoping for red or purple and we have blue. So blue is uh, a completely random charm. So it could be absolutely anything. So blue, lighter blue uh, envelope here. Let's go across. And in here, nothing else in there. Now you have, oh, I love this pearl. 
Okay, so you've got quite an unusual pearl again with this one. So this is the key charm. So as you can see here, your key charm. Now pearl wise, this is at first glances, it's a dark purple. However, it's a two tonal silver and purple. Can you see that gorgeous splash of silver there? on him he's really unusual and has that splash of quite prominent silver to him now the key itself has got detail more detail on the one side compared to the other so it's more one-sided if that makes sense yep all the charms we're showing they are on the websites so just in the charm section there's lots of different sections there to go through so we've got hundreds of different types of charms now, what do you think to this one, Jasmine? Firstly, I hope you're happy with the charm there. Pearl-wise, can we swap the pearl? Of course we can. So, you'd like to have an oyster opening. What type of oyster would you like with this one? And would you like to keep or would you like to donate these shells? You want that exact one? The key charm is on the website, so on the website it would be, I think it would be under random charms or symbol and hobbies charm section, or if you just type in key charm into the search bar, it will come up for you. Our website is www.pearlswithbrecken.com mystery and keep the shells again perfect jasmine is there a certain color that you're hoping for with this one so if we get him open and let's go down again so your mystery oyster quite a nice sharper pop there And in here, there's your mother of pearl. Hoping for a red pearl this time. It's definitely a darker purple night tonight. We've had quite a few darker purple pearls. You again, Jasmine, there is a dark purple in your oyster. Oh, we're keeping the shells, aren't we? Let me just clean them up for you. Oh, bless you, Becca, thank you. Okay, so dark purple pearl. Now you was hoping for a red pearl this time. So again, if you'd like to swap this one, we can do so for you. bright red or an orangey red you can indeed let me just measure this so your purple's not a five not a 5.5 not a six not a 6.5 not a seven he's a 7.5 so if i grab you bright burgundy red and i'm actually gonna did i drop one no i'm gonna show you a um a bright watermelon as well and that's just because some people say that our watermelons have got that sort of red tone to them so that's an orangey red what do you think so burgundy red is the slightly darker then you've got the watermelon which is the brighter ah see that pearl won't be on the website just yet um, Helen you could always email me about it and I could possibly look into it and doing it that way for you but at the moment that one is not on the website I can't guarantee if you ordered it on the website that you can get that pearl and if you email me like I said we can have a look into it for you watermelon jasmine perfect so if I bring you back up here let me just write that down so we're going to 
change the pearl to the watermelon. Okay, and if I pop this on here for you, I hope you're happy with that, my lovely. So I'm just going to wrap up your shells as well. And Jasmine, I hope your daughter's happy with everything as well. Perfect. So I hope you're happy with everything once it arrives, Jasmine. And that's safe up there for you. Helen, perfect. So you can find our email address on the Pearls of Brecon page. That's where we're live from now. Or our website, you can click the contact us button. Or I can let you know it's info at pearlswithbrecon.com. So just info, if I pop it in here. Info at pearlswithbrecon.com. There you go. Right, up next then today is Sarah Atchison. Sarah, are you here? Uh, Wendy, they'll be going on, uh, uh, I explained earlier, so basically with the different bales, um, I went to obviously get everything on the website because I already got photos of all the different colour hearts and everything, but then I, I had to stop because of the different bales, so some colour of the same colour hearts have got different bales on, and I didn't know whether to take them off and have them all on the same bale, and then have different colours on different bales, or to pop the colour hearts on the website and with the option of the bales, but I didn't want to make it too uh, difficult and too, yeah, so it, they're going to be going on as soon as I can, but I just need to work out how we're going to do that, uh, as in if we're going to give you guys the option to change the bale, um, or pick the bale, or to just present them on the website with the certain ones already done, if that makes sense. Sarah, you're here. Hello, hello, hello. I had emptied it, Joe. It's now half full again, but I, I had emptied it, yes. Uh, so Sarah, you would love a purple. If we go back across, you have got a, oh, you've got two colour splashes, sorry. So fingers crossed for a purple. Good luck, my lovely. your first one you have a purple okay so a purple is a crystal charm let's come across here so in here Sarah nothing else in that one there now your first one, you have a traditional heart crystal charm. Oh, I love this one. So again, you've got a rose, a rose heart. There we go. You've got a rose crystal heart charm. The pearl on this one is a candy floss pink. Now to me, let's hold it down here. To me, they go beautifully together. Look at those there. They are gorgeous. However, Sarah, it's completely up to you. I hope you're happy with the charm itself. Uh, pearl wise, you need to let me know if you're happy and you'd like to stick with that one or if you prefer to have the oyster opening love it stick with that one perfect okay so first one stuck that is yours you have a second spin here so are you hoping for a purple one again or are you happy with or hoping for a different color this time 
So, good luck. I'm going to spin again. And you have... You have a red charm this time. So you have a love charm. So, red envelope here. Let's bring you back across. Okay, so in here, nothing in there. Now you have the L-O-V-E charm. So I'm just working out where to hold it with the pearl picker. There we go. So this is the L-O-V-E charm. So again, it's gonna be backwards for you, uh, but it is the right way around. It's just because you're seeing a mirror image. So it's L, the O is actually a heart. There we go. Then V, E. And this one's got a natural coloured pearl on him. Now he's a deep rose gold with a hint of lavender to him. So let me just, let me just hold the pearl down next to the charm because then we can show off that colour. So it's a deep rose gold with a hint of lavender. What do you think to that one? Uh, Alex, you can, yeah, we do do, um, pre-booking is absolutely fine. So we're live every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. So basically I'll explain in just a moment if you can bear with me. Okay. Sarah, stick with that one as well. Perfect. Uh, yep, yeah, all our charms are 95 silver. Uh, obviously the crystal ones are crystal. The fittings on them are still 95 silver though. Sarah, my lovely, I'm glad you're happy with both of those. Um, and I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives there. And that's safe up there for you. Um, Alex, going back to your question, yes, pre-booking is definitely something that we have done from the start. Now, all you need to do is on the website, uh, when you order something, there's an additional comments box just pop in there, Sarah, you're very, very welcome. Just pop in the additional comments box that you're booking in for a certain date. Uh, and then you'll get an email from us confirming your booking. Now we're live every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. So it would need to be one of those days. Um, and I normally have my dates booked in uh, for me for the next three, four months anyway. So I know what days I am going to be going live. So obviously if we can't do a certain date that you pick, I can let you know straight away. Um, also, you can either then include on the additional comments, uh, the name of the person I'm calling out, uh, if it's not yourself, and I read out any messages. So if there's a message you'd like me to read out, to that person, uh, include that in the additional comments or you can email me that information over if you prefer to. So yeah, it's not a problem to book in. We do it all the time. Um, it's just, yeah, just let me know. Yes, Courtney, it will be on today's live. That's not a problem. Uh, up next is Linda Connor. Linda, are you here? Linda, hello, hello, hello. Uh, so Linda, you have a colour splash as well, if we go over to the uh, wheel for you. Alex, you're very, very welcome. Bless you, Lisa, thank you for that comment there. Now, Linda, is there a certain colour or a certain themed charm that you're hoping for? Let's give him a spin. So good luck, my lovely. Okay, 
Okay, and we have a blue, so it didn't click over. You've got a blue themed charm there. So again, the blue means it is a random themed charm. So we've gone for a light blue here. You're hoping for an animal, okay. So in here, oh, I like this one. So I, I say that about, all, <laughs> I, I end up saying that about all the charms, but I genuinely do. <laughs> this one on the website, I'm just seeing what way round it goes. It goes this way round. This one is the pixie charm. So you can see there the pixie charm. Now this is quite a nice, but it's slightly longer charm this one, um, but it is gorgeous. So the pixie, she's looking down at the heart that she's carrying. She's holding the end of her skirt or dress with her wings. Now the pearl on this one is a two-tonal pink. So if I can show you, it's a bright hot pink and then it sort of merges into that candy floss pink and then it goes back into that bright hot pink. So it's a gorgeous two-tonal pink on this one, which I thought really went well with the pixie theme. However, it's completely up to you, Linda. I'm just seeing if I can grab it so you can see the pearl next to it. There we go. So the pearl does sort of sit over her wings there, but again, it can move around. Now, if you're happy with this one, I hope you're happy with the charm, but pearl-wise, if you're happy with this one, we can stick. And again, if you're not happy, we can do an oyster opening to change it. What do you think? Pixie May. Oh, I love that name, Bethany. What do you think? Your favorite favorite color is lilac. Now, if you'd like to go for a oyster opening, we can definitely do that for you. Um, lilacs, I don't actually have any in my swaps and there is a weight on lilac pearls. But yes, you can, I was about to say, why don't we try to get one? Um, and then if you wanted to have, if your, if your heart's sort of set on that color, if you don't get one, we can then just swap one for you, but you will be popped on the waiting list. So as long as you don't mind waiting, we can do that. But we'll see if we can get one first. I would say either the Expand the Rainbow bag uh, or possibly the Mystery bag, but I think you'd have more of a chance from the Expand the Rainbow bag. So I'm going to grab that, but just confirm for me if you're happy to go for this bag or if you'd like to prefer to go for another bag um, and if you'd like to keep or if you'd like to donate your shells. What do you think? I just realised I was looking really... Mm. <laughs> It wasn't that. I bit my lip again, so I was like trying not to show it and said I looked really grumpy. <laughs> Sorry. It's, do you know here, do you know when you bite your inner cheek or lip and then it, it's swollen slightly because you've bit it and then you just continuously bit it? That's my live today. <laughs> that bit, right on the end of my lip. So I'm, I'm not grumpy. I just was trying to hide the pain and looked grumpy. Oh, uh, happy with this one and you'll donate the shells. Okay, perfect. Fingers crossed, my lovely, for a lilac. So, let's go 
down. Your Expand the Rainbow Oyster. There's one side and the other side. Oh, oh, it's not lilac. There's no more in that one. You've got quite an unusual golden pearl here. Let me dry him up for you. He is, he's a gorgeous, quite unusual gold. It's almost like a opaque kind of gold. Now, what do you think to this one? If you're happy with this one, we can of course pop him on the pixie charm for you. Or if you would like to swap him, we can do that as well. That's not a problem. Uh, and if you'd like to go on the waiting list for a lilac, we can definitely do that as well. So it's completely up to you, Linda. Just need to let me know what you'd like and what you think. So I run this golden pearl through the board. He is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7. He is a 7 point, oh, 7 point 7.5. Swap, okay, so... Are you swapping for the lilac or are you swapping for a different colour? Like I said, if it is the lilac, there is a weight. So just, just to make you aware. Again, it's just <laughs> my comments have got such a delay. I don't know if it's me or if it's just Facebook. The light purple before, like the violet purple. Yeah, we've got violet purples available. So the violet purple, uh, let me show you this one. So this is the sort of closest we've got to lilac, but it's just a lot brighter than the lilac would be. Um, but I'll show you, if you're happy with this colour, then that's perfect as well. What do you think to that one? just brought you back up here that's lovely perfect okay so let me write this down for you we're going to change the pink to the violet Linda I hope you're happy with that then and happy with everything once it arrives uh, thank you ever so much for the donations with your shells and that's safe at that for you Okay, and up next then today is Courtney Bosman. Courtney, are you here? Linda, no, you're very, very welcome. Courtney Bosman, are you here? What's 
going on. Hello? Sorry, the battery went on the... Uh, I hadn't realised it's been four hours. Deary me. Wow, where's the time gone? Uh, battery went on there a bit. Just changed over. Sorry about that. Um, so, Courtney, what I was saying was um, you've got one oyster opening with the item of jewellery and I saw earlier that you said that you bought multiple oyster, oyster openings. Uh, now, you've got a picky pearl bags here. Now, what that is, is I dive in and I pull out a bag which has got three pearls in it. And then of those three pearls, you pick two pearls to keep and one pearl goes back into my swap bags. However, that it's the same price as oyster openings. So if you prefer to have your oyster openings, that's absolutely fine. I can do that for you instead. Um, I just wanted to double check if you wanted the single oyster opening and the picky pearl bags or if it was meant to be oyster openings, because if so, it's the same price, so I can just do that for you, if that makes sense. you think can the pearl be separated oh yeah it can be Lisa yeah the pearl doesn't have to be on the jewelry obviously if you pick the color pearl that I've already put on there it has a pin cap on it already um, but if you go for an oyster opening the pearl will just be as it is and you don't have to have it on the jewellery. Courtney, what do you think? You only heard part of it. Would you like me to go through it again? Basically, um, let me show you. Hang on, I'm just gonna move you on to a different board just so I can get the correct item. Okay, so basically, the oyster opening, we can, very ha we can do that in a second. This is the picky pearl bag, so, but this is the same price as an oyster opening. So because I saw your comment before, I don't know, I thought with your comment before that you wanted them all oysters. So if you wanted to do them all oysters, that's fine because it's the same price. If not, this is the item that you picked. So I would dive in here I'd pull out a bag and then I'd show you what these three pearls are now of these three pearls you get to keep two 
you just let me know which two you would like to keep and then the other one goes into my swap pot. So we can either do these like this or you can have oyster openings. Does that make sense, Courtney? Now in the bag, obviously all these pearls in, the, in here, they're all different. So if I show you, like there's blues, corals, purples, uh, blues, red, purples, green, greys, corals. So they're all, all different uh, colours. Can you have oyster open? Yeah, that's fine. That's why I wanted to double check with you, um, just because <laughs> I'd hate to do something that you didn't mean. Um, so, all oyster openings, uh, can you have seven oyster openings altogether? Mystery oysters, donate the shells. Is there certain colours that you're hoping for at all? One and two, thank you, Bab. Three, four, five, six, and seven okay i'm just gonna be really really careful courtney just confirm am i opening seven oysters just so we've understood each other com completely i know it's annoying but um i'm prone to misunderstanding sometimes and i'd hate to do that so one two just confirm am i opening all of these three four five six seven thank you yeah okay right let's get these open are there certain colors that you're hoping for one two perfect Courtney thank you for confirming just so we it's more so I understand actually because um yeah I am prone to misunderstand what people mean and all everyone commenting and all the viewers can understand and it's just me. <laughs> so now I sort of go over cautious to get everything double checked. Right, that's all seven open there. Donating the shells. Are there certain colours that you're hoping for? Let's go down. So mystery oyster number one lighter double pop there so in oyster number one there's your mother of pearl and i can actually see a little bit of a peeper in there can you see that very dark hoping for bright pinks for you purples for your daughter red for your son blue or black for your husband okay so fingers crossed courtney there's no more in that one and first pearl out let me dry him off first pearl out oh he's not quite a black he's just off a black there i mean in the sand he looks like he's a black doesn't he for me here he's very very close to being a black i'm gonna say he's more like a gunmetal gray got that sort of dark deep tone but he does have slight gray tones to him on the, so almost black there moving on to oyster number two quite a nice sharp pop there and in here there's your mother of pearl and if we have a squidge in here and you're twinning and you're twinning again with darker twins here there's no more in that one and you're twinning with i'm just going to move this darker one over and then we can pop the twins next to him now your twins are different colors here okay so you've got a dark purple twin and then this one here is almost like a chocolatey purple so you've got dark purple and chocolatey purple twins which are different colors to each other moving on to your next oyster you have a 
a sharp pop with that one. And in here, there is your mother of pearl. And if we have a squidge in here, oh, there's one pearl there. And you are twinning for a second time, Courtney. And there's no more in that swim. So you're twinning with silvery grape purples. So these ones are grape purple base, but they've got almost like this silvery overtone, if you can see that there. So silvery purples. Now, of course, Courtney, at the end, we'll go through everything. So if you're not happy with the colours at the end, we can swap them. But we'll see what comes out first for you. Moving on to your next oyster. And we have a softer pop there. Ooh. And in here, there is your mother of pearl. And you are twinning. Twinning for a third time. Three sets of twins so far. These twins here are gorgeous, brighter pink, which is actually one of the colours you was hoping for. Bright pink there. So let me dry these up for you. Oh, that was close. There they are in the sand. And then we've still got three oysters to go. So moving on to your next oyster, we have a softer pop there. And in here, there's a little bit of flesh on that side, but you can see that there's, oh, we didn't go down. How long haven't we been down for? Why was the camera up? How long has the camera not been down for? How long has it, how's it been down for the whole ice? What's, blah, 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 blah. oh my gosh, Courtney. I don't know, oh, when I, okay. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, so you only this one. Okay, so I haven't squished this yet. I can see a peeper, but I haven't squished this yet. Just since you showed the last one in the sand. Okay, so what I think happened is as I put the, the sand down, I think my hand must have clicked the mouse, which is on the button. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just got scared though that you never saw anything. <laughs> thinking that's not like, why has nobody told me <laughs> oh Courtney I'm sorry okay so yeah I'm gonna move my mouse away over there there we go so you didn't see the pinks in the sand so here's the pinks in the sand for you I've moved the mouse completely out of the way. I think I must have hit it without realising. So I am sorry about that. Okay, so then in here, this is the third from last oyster that we're opening. So we've got these three left. So there's nothing in there. But I can see a peeper here for you. And let's have a squidge. And there's no more in this one. So this one here is a single pearl in here. And he is a purple. So you've got quite a few purples now. All different shades. I'm actually going to pop this one next to your dark one. So you can see the purples over there. So similar to the second set of twins. I'd say it's slightly darker than the second set of twins. Okay, moving on to your next oyster. Oh, we have a lighter double pop there. Oh, 
and in here there is your mother of pearl and if we have a squidge in here for you you have a blush pink there and there's no more in that one so I'll pop your blush pink over here with the other single pearls. So it's sort of single pearls on this side and then twins down the centre there. And then we've got your last oyster now, Courtney. Fingers crossed, my lovely. You have a lighter, softer pop there. And in here, there is your mother of pal. And if we have a squidge, oh, and you have a chocolate pal there. And there's no more in that one. Okay, so Courtney, let's go through all of these for you. Now, if you would prefer to, you can take a screenshot and then you can email me with what you would like um, and what colour and if you'd like any colour swaps or anything like that. We can... Why is the camera going crazy? Ah, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Nothing was touching the mouse. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't touch anything. It just. Oh, it's not you, Courtney. I've been having a right mare with my cameras today. <laughs> oh, that was so weird. Because <laughs> both my hands are holding the sand. I hold the sand at either end. So, yeah, I just don't know. Right. So, basically, what I was saying, Courtney, is... If you would like to have time to think about it, you can take a screenshot here and then you can email me with any colour swaps or choices or anything like that. Now, if you know now what you'd like to do, that's absolutely fine as well, but I would hate to rush you. So if we go through them, uh, we have your single pearls first. You have your darker gunmetal grey, purple, blush pink and this chocolate. Then you've got twinning different colours, twinning purple and chocolate, twinning silvery purples, and then twinning bright pinks. So let's run them through the board for you. The single pearls first, your purple's not a 5, not a 5.5, he's a 6. The darker gunmetal grey's not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, not an 8, he's an 8.5. The chocolate's not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. And the blush pink is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6. Point, oh, he is, sorry, he is a 6.5. Twin purple number one is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, he's a seven. His twin, which is the chocolate, is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, he's a seven. They're the same size there. Silver purple number one is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, he's a 6.5. Silver purple number two is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, he's a 6.5 as well. So they're the same size there. And then your hot pink number one is not a five, not a 5.5. He's a six, and then the hot pink number two is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six. He's a 6.5. So the pinks are different sizes. Honestly, guys, I'm, I don't actually know how that how that did that because I'm I'm not touching and like honestly, when I hold the sand, both my hands hold the sand to make as if it's one hand, it wobbles. It's, <laughs> So I hold it with the bow so I can stabilise it. Can that many fit on the heart charm hollow teeth? Let me just double check the image. From memory, yes. 
Um, however, I just let me have a little look because some of our bracelets, I would say um, pearls fit on certain links. So let's have a little look for you. Oh, yep. Yeah. So if you look at the image uh, on this one, you can fit a pearl on every link if you wanted to. So you could potentially fit um, one, two, three, four, five. Why does it keep flushing here? Why is everything flushing? Oh my gosh, no, can't do that. Okay, one, two, no, okay, stop it. One, two, three, no, <laughs> I can't count it. Okay, so I'm trying to apparently, oh, okay, so basically, yes is the answer. I'm sorry, I went to try and count the image on the website and it kept, um, nope it doesn't want to stay up then no does it <laughs> oh no Aaron okay So I can't look at, yes it can hold multiple, it can fit them all on if you wanted to. Um, I'm so sorry Courtney, to separate them, yes of course, no for sure, I want to keep both candy pinks and the large glimpse of grey one, the rest will decide on the swaps for. That's not a problem at all, so what I'll do is I'll put the large gum metal grey the pinks and then the other ones I'll put in a different bag and then you can just let me know with the swaps that's absolutely fine so when you email me uh, just include your five digit order invoice number I keep checking to make sure the camera's up um, include your five digit order invoice number on the email and then yeah just let me know what you'd like and then we can definitely get that sorted for you Courtney I hope you're happy with that there that's safe on there for you. Thank you for the donations with all of your shells there as well. And I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives. I'm really, really very. <laughs> so Courtney, that's safe up there for you. Excited, have enjoyed. Technology can be amazing at times. It's crazy. <laughs> It can be, I completely agree, It's it can be amazing, but yeah, the cameras today are just not my friends. Oh yeah, right. Um, but no, I'm glad you're happy. I'm like jittering, my eyes are on, <laughs> just making sure everything's okay. No, Courtney, you're very welcome. Uh, up next today is Janet Perling. Janet, are you here? have a sip oh Aaron's brought me a different mug this is the um little miss bossy mug oh no wait that side's little miss bossy and then this side says my mum is the boss yeah I'm looking for Janet Perling. Janet, are you here? Does the sound go faster point? Are the sound is the sound going funny when it's doing a little it's flashy flash? Or can you still hear me through it? <laughs> um Jan, hello. Now I'm gonna try moving cameras here, Jan. Please bear with me. So Jan, you have the Oh, it likes this one. Okay. You have two colour splashes here. Are there certain colours that you're hoping for? Sound is fine while it's flashing. Well, at least you guys can still hear. That's the main thing. I mean, it's good to see too, but if the sound went as well, but that would be... That'd be really weird, wouldn't it? So, Jan, is there certain colours? 
that you're hoping for. Let's spin your first one. Good luck, my lovely. Hoping for yellows. Oh, it hasn't popped over. So your first one, you have a purple. So let's dive in and your purple is a darker purple. If we come across to here. Uh, sometimes we do themed nights, Sharon, yes. Uh, and the theme nights are like throwback Thursdays or something like that. So I do it there, but I wouldn't bring it back as a, as a normal thing. So inside your first one here, Janet. Oh, you have a pear drop charm. Oh, I love this colour combination. When I hold it up, you guys will see why. So pear drop crystal charm. And it is the clear crystal charm. So let's get this focused. Clear crystal, which means whatever colour goes behind it, it's going to sort of reflect and push through. And you can see all of the facets there. Now the pearl is this gorgeous, bright sea green pearl. Let's just hold it down next to the, the crystal, which means the clear crystal with the green. Look at that color combination. Now, what do you think to this, Janet? Now, I hope you're happy with the charm. Pearl wise, you can either stick if you're happy with the pearl or you can have an oyster opening so you can change it. I was squealing, wasn't I? Because <laughs> it's very, very, uh, yeah, it freaked me out. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Perfect. Stick with that one. Perfect. I'm glad you're happy with him there. So let's just pop that there. And if we go back to the wheel then. So this is going to be your second spin now, Jan. So good luck again, my lovely. And you have a red straight in the middle of the reds there. So let's go for a pink envelope here and back across again. So in here, good luck, my lovely. Nothing else in that one. And you have one of those dove gray pearls. Quite popular at the moment, this color pearl. And it is, I'm not going to lie, it's gorgeous. Now, the Dove Grey Pearl is this beautiful light but soft silver. And that's actually paired with the Spot of Love Charm. So you can see, I mean, all the colours you can see, it's just reflecting uh, the screen and stuff like that. So it's got a circle, hollow circle, with the heart at the bottom. Now, if I hold it so where the pearl would sit, it sits at the top of that circle. So you can then see the heart at the bottom with the dove grey there as well. Now, this is the reverse side as well, what it would look like. So it is lovely. Now again, Jan, I hope you're happy with the charm there. Pearl wise, if you're happy with the pearl, we can stick with the pearl or we can do an oyster opening if you would prefer to swap it. Can you have a mystery oyster donate the shells? Of course you can. So let me bring you back up. And mystery oyster donate the shells. Is there certain colours that you're hoping for? So mystery oyster, let me get him open for you. And let's go down. So in here. Oh, softer pop there. 
it will Liz if you pick to have it on a hoop fitting it will fit yes so there is your mother of pearl now Janet in here you are twinning twinning with gorgeous brighter pink pearls there And there's no more in that one. What do you think to the pink? Now, if you're happy with these, that's perfect. So I can pop one of these on the jewellery. Of course, the other one is yours. Uh, and if you're not happy, we can swap one or both of them for you. So here are the pinks in the sand for you, Jan. And if I run them through the board, pink number one is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, not a 7.5, he's an eight. And pink number two is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven. Uh, he's a 7.5, so they are measuring different sizes there. So if you do have a preference, swap one for a red and one for a denim blue. Red on the charm. 